Hello, my name is Kjeld. I'm the Director for International Patients for Goethe International Hospitals and I'm joined today by Parveen. Welcome, Parveen. Thank you. Uh, Parveen, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, who are you? Why are you here? Okay, so my name is Parveen Ashraf and I'm a TV chef and author. So I work um, predominantly in the kitchen standing on my legs, which has not been good because I actually hurt my knee and this is why I'm here today. Okay, uh, how did you come to our hospital? Like, how did you get to know about us? I actually came through my husband. So my husband had some um, issues with his teeth mm -hmm. um, and he was recommended to come to this hospital. Mm -hmm. So while he was here and I was accompanying him at the hotel, I had a chat with the operations um, officer, manager. Mm -hmm. yeah, operations manager. And yes. I said, I have a small problem. And back at home, it's been taking, I think, nearly a year and a half to deal with this problem mm -hmm. with still no clear results. Mm -hmm. So I've been very really stressed about my, my knee being in so much pain. So when I came to Turkey and to the hospital, I asked the operations manager, and I'm, to my surprise, I was seen the next day. Uh, how did the process go? So I think they asked for your medical information. Uh, what happened next? So um, I met the operations manager at the hospital and she was amazing, spoke very good English, I was very happy. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually was very stressed, I'd been very upset about nobody taking me seriously and nobody mm -hmm. taking my problem seriously. Mm -hmm. And I love the NHS back home, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong, they do an amazing mm -hmm. job, mm -hmm. but I needed to, to be seen. And to my surprise, I got to the hospital, I had my scan, I had my MRI and x-ray within half an hour. Mm -hmm. And then and within the next half an hour, the doctor gave me my results. Mm -hmm. Bit of a miracle, I'd say. How was uh, the news you got? Was it good news or bad news? Do you know what? It really was good news. I, um, I had, was told by the MRI results back home in England mm -hmm. that I had a small tear in my the medial ligament, in my knee. Mm -hmm. I'm not a medical mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. And when the surgeon delivered the news, he said, no, you actually have this is wrong with, with, with you. Mm -hmm. And he gave me a really good diagnosis with a nice little drawing as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not a medical person, I don't understand. So the news I received was really good news. So now I need a small procedure, mm -hmm. not a big procedure. I think you're scheduled in for today for the procedure. Today, I know. A little Are bit you nervous. nervous? <laughs> yeah. I am a bit nervous. However, it, what I can see around me with the hospital is the professionalism, the speed, and they seem, everybody cares, not seem to care, people do mm -hmm. care. Mm -hmm. They care about the patients here. Well, as a, as a director, yeah, you maybe, can. <laughs> I, I don't want to be biased, yeah. but uh, we He's do. biased. He's yeah. really biased. <laughs> I do. Well, as you know, as a company, as goes to international hospitals, we always try to make sure uh, because we know that patients coming from abroad, even, you know, it's not a holiday, uh, even if it's a simple uh, tonsillectomy, so the removal of the tonsils, it's a small surgery, but still you're coming from abroad uh, to a foreign country, you don't speak the language. So we try to make this process as uh, relaxed as possible for patients because, you know, uh, it's something exciting. People can be nervous, people can be scared. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy you feel, <laughs> feel this way. That's, that's good feedback for me. Uh, well, it's a bit of a holiday actually. I have I have had a bit of a holiday. The, I've been enjoying the, cheese, the the food and the, the weather. Yeah, because my husband was in hospital and I had two days. Did you enjoy a little bit of Izmir as well? How do you like Izmir? I so love far? Izmir. It's beautiful. A very busy place. It's a very very big. Uh, it's the third biggest city in uh, in Turkey. Which I didn't know. Yeah. So it, it is not really holiday, but I am uh, taking advantage of being here in Turkey. So today I am finding it hard to breathe. I've got to breathe. I have the procedure. But the surgeon, when he explained it, I was like really quite surprised mm -hmm. at this procedure. I was actually going to ask, so how was the <laughs> conversation with the, with the surgeon? Did he make you feel uh, comfortable? Was everything like uh, properly explained to you? He really did. And I think but for me, the, the biggest surprise, a little bit shocked actually, is the speed. The mm -hmm. speed of coming to the hospital, having a nice coffee in the cafe, which is always nice. And then seeing um, the, uh, yourself, mm -hmm. operations manager, and everybody worked together to help me. And I think as a patient, as a guest, or a, I felt very valued mm -hmm. and welcomed, and that's huge. To feel welcomed in a hospital is huge. Right. Nobody doesn't, nobody doesn't not want to be felt welcomed. Mm -hmm. And that's the first thing is a welcome. I think Osman came to the door to greet me. Then from then on, I was in his capable hands, meeting yourself and then meeting the surgeon who was just very down to earth and explained in great detail what was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, oh, I could be here for another hour, two hours, three hours. Actually, I was done and dusted and seen in an hour from start to finish. Mm -hmm. So that for me was amazing, amazing. That's, that's good, that's good to hear. Yeah. Uh, overall, I can say, of course, your procedure may be a little bit smaller, but overall, if we take the bigger surgeries as well, 
uh, we try to be as thorough as possible before we do anything you know, to a patient, if, whether it be a minor surgery or a big surgery. Uh, we always try to make sure that the patient is comfortable, that all of the results come in, all of the imaging diagnostics, and then we actually start the procedure as we're doing with you now as well. Uh, I'm glad to hear you feel comfortable in this way. Uh, what is your expectancy after the procedure? Um, I don't really know what to expect. But I've, I've researched it, but the surgeon was very thorough mm -hmm. when he gave me the information of what was going to happen to me today. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm very confident to be in his professional hands. Mm -hmm. So um, I have no worries and my expectations are it will be done and I'll be happy that so tomorrow I can shower and go shopping in Izmir. Yeah, we cool. like that, we like shopping. Yeah. Yeah, uh, shopping requires a lot of walking. Walking, I think yeah. That after this procedure, you I have to rest. He yeah. told me exactly my aftercare. Mm -hmm. I'm sure my aftercare would be good as my pre-care. Mm -hmm. There's such a word. Mm -hmm. But I also think that in the long run, because of your, you know, profession, you stand up. You, yeah, yes. No, he um, he told me what I have to do long term, mm -hmm. and I wasn't very happy. I have to exercise, yoga, mm -hmm. and lose some weight. Mm -hmm. I said I cook for a living; it's my job, so I know what to do. And I think his knowledge about how to help me long term. He wasn't there just to help me in this short term about here's the procedure, goodbye. He gave me information about how to look after my health long term and that was lovely. Mm -hmm. It was really lovely. Yeah. Also, whenever our patients leave after you know a treatment, they're always welcome you know, to uh, contact us back. When, even if it's just a silly question, it's always better to ask, as we always say. So in that regard, you can be... That was sure a big shock to me when my husband uh, came last year and he said, oh, I'm WhatsApping them. I'm like, really? You're WhatsApping your dentist and your surgeon? Mm -hmm. That, that I think we, we don't have with the NHS. Mm -hmm. um, so that immediate contact it gives patients mm -hmm. peace of mind. And you know what, there's no price on peace of mind. Correct. Uh, I also think in this regard with you know, contact via you know, uh, basically the digital platform, in this case WhatsApp, uh, is, I mean, future is going forward. Uh, especially, for example, during COVID. Uh, we were already doing this in Turkey for a long time, but uh, during the COVID period, uh, Europe also got, you know, uh, adjusted to speaking to their doctor or at least, you know, a consultant, uh, either via Skype, you know, mm -hmm. Zoom or even WhatsApp. Uh, of course, you know, nothing uh, can replace, you know, a physical consultation, but at least in regards of, you know, questions or quick answers, uh, these types of well, platforms help quite a lot. I mean, that's my perfect personal experience, of course. So. Um, yeah, let's go back to, you know, you're staying in Izmir as well, so mm -hmm. I believe you're staying in our deluxe hotel. How do you yes. like the hotel so far? I love the hotel. I think, <laughs> I have to say to my husband, it was very clean. He said, why do you keep saying that? And I, I look, I'm not a clean freak, but I do, everything is so clean. That's mm -hmm. the first thing, my first impression was the cleanliness mm -hmm. and, and every day the maid service. That was my first impression, how clean it is. And then all the staff are very aware of what's happening and also to bond with other people from the United Kingdom mm -hmm. who come here. And so I think the patients in the same hotel, I thought initially it might not be a good thing mm -hmm. when I first came, but it is a good thing because everybody then supports each other. Correct. Because we're all going through the same thing. Correct. So the cleanliness was really, and then, then the food. I love the food. I love the Turkish food. Turkish cuisine. And we go to the small, small bars for the food. Mm -hmm. um, but the other thing that really, uh, really impressed me was um, when I got to the hospital, it's, I think I commented to you saying it, it's so new age, it's mm -hmm. so bright and clean and it looks like something from the future. Correct. That was actually the whole idea. <laughs> it uh, looks futuristic. The location of the hospital uh, is actually one of the first private hospitals in Izmir. It was established in about 68 or 69. Uh, since then it has changed hands. This hospital? Yes. Uh, it's been reacquired by this group, by the Gözde group, uh, about four years ago, and they completely renovated it yeah. from the ground on. And the idea behind it was to make the hospital of the future. So uh, we basically do anything here from uh, simple tonsil surgery to open brain surgery. Uh, we utilize the latest technology for this, both in surgery but also for the diagnostics, so all the scans, etc. Uh, so I'm glad we got the idea for I walked in yesterday and it did look like a five-star hotel. It really did. And your staff a lot speak English and I think to have somebody speaking really good English mm -hmm. alongside you with the procedures is mm -hmm. brilliant. Correct. But it's I'm very I'm very impressed I have to say. I'm very impressed. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah. Then my next question or one of my final questions is uh, would you recommend uh, people from abroad coming to this hospital or to Turkey? 
Very definitely, yes. I think before I came, I was a bit nervous, a bit dubious. Mm -hmm. A lot of my friends said, really, you're going to Turkey, why, why are you going there? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I think the smallest negative press can impact everybody. Mm -hmm. True. But um, I, I'm thoroughly impressed with the professionalism, the speed mm -hmm. of this hospital. and. Um, like I said, it's it's so modern and it's so it looks like it belongs in the future, not in 2023. Mm -hmm. I'm very impressed with the whole hospital. Definitely recommend it 100%. Would you come back for it? I'm coming back. I'm going to come back for all sorts. We're I haven't looking told forward, you yet. We're, we're <laughs> looking forward to that. Uh, is there anything you would like to add personally? Um, no, I think we had decided when we were going to interview me, mm -hmm. we off camera, what should we discuss? But we have kept it real because mm -hmm. yesterday I told you I was very impressed with the mm -hmm. hospital. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think if you are nervous of coming to Turkey and you think you want a procedure and you're not sure, ask somebody who's been to the hospital. Right. Ask for first-hand information. Mm -hmm. Do your research. Not do your research. You don't ask for a second and look at reviews online. Speak mm -hmm. to somebody who's been here like myself and then you'll, you'll get a true picture of what they offer and the other surface is um, 10 on 10. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> uh, well, those are my questions. I'm really happy that you're here. I'm also very happy that you agreed to do this interview. Uh, I wish you good luck with your Thank procedure, you. Thank uh, which you. you'll have in a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes. And uh -huh. uh, I will see you after the procedure again. Uh, again, thank you very much. Thank I wish you. you all the best. Thank it you was very, very nice to meet you. And you too. Thank you very much. Thank you.